is showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Pettis is back tonight, the former UFC lightweight champion. And not to say that he has reinvented himself of late, but he's gotten back to what got him to the dance, right? Focusing on the striking, not focusing as much on defensive wrestling and training. And the results have been really good since he made that change. They've been really good. And Pettis is one of those guys that will confuse you with the level and the difference in attacks that he will go at you with. The knockout of Stephen Wonderboy Thompson was Ooh. unbelievable because it was unexpected. The way that he submitted Benson Henderson back in Milwaukee to become the UFC champion was a special moment. A guy that an organization, when they wrap the belt around his waist knows, they have someone that can truly become a star around the world. And whether it's the Showtime kick or the heart or the toughness, this guy has truly changed the game. And 20 years from now, we're really going to acknowledge everything that Anthony Showtime has brought to the table. Good to see you back. to see this man throw hands here tonight. You can argue he has some of the best boxing in this division. But fighters are a sensitive lot. It's like every time we put over his hands, he feels like we're saying out of the other side of our mouth that he's not well-rounded. That's not the case. No, we're not called him limited at all. We're not saying this guy can't do everything, but it, what pops up the page is his hands, his hand speed, his power in his hands, his ability to set up his hands through his feints and his movements. He can do so many good things in the boxing realm that you lock in on that thing. But make no mistake about it, this guy is very well-rounded, but ultimately it will be his boxing yeah. that will allow for him to be successful. And defensively, certainly he's not going to be confused with Pernell Whitaker, but he moves <laughs> his head very well, manages distance exceedingly well. Sweet thing. And stylistically on his feet. Sweet thing was all All time. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Showtime Pettis has been as a first round stoppage machine more than a dozen first round finishes to his credit. They'll be looking to add to that total here tonight. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, if you're the boxer, maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. So as he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful. And it shows how hard they work in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for them to jump out in front. Body kick lands. Well, you can feel that breeze off the side after the swing and a miss by Choi. Slip that one. Choi gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, how good is that kick? Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Let's go, he should be first now. Big shot to the body. Beautiful combination there from Anthony Pettis. Really the face of Duke Rufus' team there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They've got a lot of fighters who've had a lot of UFC success. Chief among them, the former lightweight king, Anthony Showtime Pettis. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and 
one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Good work, guys. I need you to focus. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, nice. Under 90 seconds to go. Straight right hand now, just misses. Under a minute to go in the round. Here's the kick, blocked by Choi. Nice jab. Pettis gets caught by the inside leg. Work, guys, come on. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh. Oh. Set for the end of round one. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You're fine. Everything is good, okay? I know you can do better than this. Listen, I need you to get out there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? You ready? Second oh, round underway. Oh, all right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level Oh! Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. taking your time. You get excited and you... Oh, oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Oh, misses with the jab. Don't wait. Don't wait. Slips that left hand. He has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, Pettis' nose is bleeding now. So we'll see how he handles that adversity. But nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, yeah! Just missed with the left there. to go in round two. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut. 
while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of him. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started. Now let's see just how far he can take it.